Hi everyone, Eugene Sachs here with another review from GameCritics.com. I didn't have a lot of experience with the classic PC style of RPGs like Baldur's Gate or the original Fallout titles, only their more modern and console-friendly counterparts. One immediate difference I noticed was that I was able to go through console RPGs more like a checklist than an actual role-playing. I could start with things that come easy to the character I created, then buy or grind up stats to be able to do the quest I couldn't initially handle. There were rarely limits, which come with both good and bad. While I admit that getting used to PC sensibilities can sometimes be annoying, Space Rec makes limitations meaningful while also making the feeling of overcoming them enjoyable. In this isometric RPG title, players will control the rookie captain of a spaceship who finds themselves stranded in space after a pirate attack. The crew draw straws to determine who takes the remaining shuttle to a nearby space station to get help. The player, of course, draws the short straw, meaning that they'll explore different space stations and ships in space and try to find a way to fix their ship and get back home. After players create a character and set up skills, the world is their oyster. For example, rather than being immediately handed a basic quest, players can interact with NPCs in any way they want. Charm them into helping, sneak around and steal their stuff, or murder them if so desired. There are many choices, as long as the character can handle the task, often in the form of passing a stat-based skill check. Having said that, there are some serious limits to Space Rec as a whole. From the jump, the game tells players that combat is not required, and with good reason. Even as a bulky character, there were instances where a single blow would kill me. It wasn't often, but it was enough to make me reconsider my habit of brute forcing my way through things. On the other hand, my character wasn't the greatest at speaking, which means that there were some conversations and choices I missed out on because I failed a skill check and couldn't initiate a chat. While these things were a bit on the brutal side to me, I quickly started to appreciate those limits and actually started to roleplay my character. Instead of trying to beat everyone up, I used hacking skills to get robots to fight for me and put my tinkering tools to use to get into every locked area that I could. In one section, I landed on a wrecked ship that housed a colony of people. The colony was dying, and it was only a matter of time before the aging people would no longer be around. When I went to leave, the security chief in charge was going to force me to stay in the colony in an effort to revitalize it. I couldn't fight them to get my stuff back, and I couldn't steal it back, so I had to get creative. There was another shuttle that no longer had navigation controls, so I could hack it and leave. Or I could hack the life support system to knock out everyone and take my stuff back then if I could find a spacesuit. This one small example shows how role-playing branches out to every other portion of the story, leading to different outcomes and affecting everything going forward. Something else I appreciated is how streamlined Space Rec is. I played through enough tabletop RPGs to know a character sheet can get bloated and become filled with stats, abilities, items, and much more to keep track of. This occurs in the video game world as well, but not so much in Space Rec. Characters are limited to five stats and five skills, an inventory isn't a big concern, so it was easy to keep everything in mind and never became overwhelming. It's also easy to go back to a specific point in the story and make new choices. On Startup, Space Rec has a map which shows players their progress. On some of the major milestones, players have the option to reload from that point, finding even more ways to interact and solve problems. It's a small touch, but helpful for players like me who'd like to explore more options without starting a new playthrough each time. My only gripes with Space Rec are that it can be a bit difficult to click on the exact item I want to interact with. The pixel graphics and isometric view mean some items overlap each other, and there wasn't a good way to choose what I wanted. It also feels like some of the dialogue trees were not triggering properly. I would try to speak with an NPC, roll a successful speech check, and then the dialogue box would close without the talk happening. Space Rec feels like a good first step into the bigger world of PC RPGs for a newcomer like me. It certainly has the same level of brutality that I've often heard of, but it remains manageable and easy to come to grips with. Even better, a run can be completed in under 10 hours, so it's not a huge commitment and can be readily replayed. I wasn't sure if Space Rec would be the one I would enjoy, but I'm already starting a second playthrough to see what other secrets it has to offer. For me, Space Rec gets an 8 out of 10.